Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to answer questions and react to comments about my 2019 EC and ECT licensure exam experience. So, I'm doing this because last year I posted a photo, no, not a photo, but a video <laughs> about how I passed my board exams and it's now actually my most watched video on my channel so i just wanted to express my gratitude to all the people who watched my video i feel like to be heard and to be listened to a couple of thousands of times is really really cool i've always wanted to be somewhat of a inspiration or motivation to other people who would like to be engineers so I'm doing this now let's begin so first question is from vivacious skin okay. and her question is kapag pumasa ka sa ECT board exam matatawag ka ba na engineer um, the answer here is simply no. So the ECT is for technicians only and you will need to take up and pass the licensure exam for electronics engineers. So, iba yung ECT. So, ECT board exam, you can actually take it before graduating. I think there's a quota of units that you must have already taken at college if you're an ECT student. You can take the ECT. And then once you graduate, you need to graduate, of course, as BS ECE to take up the licensure. Meron ding mga course for electric, electric, electronic technicians. So, um, magkaiba yun. So, the ECT exam is actually 50 points. And then, yung ECE licensure examination, which are for the engineers, they have uh, four subjects for it. So, namely math, JS, ESAT, and LX. So, all of which are 100 items. You'll need to have at least 70 points for each of the subjects to pass. So, uh, magkaibang magkaiba yun. You cannot be called an engineer just because you took up ECT. So, yeah. They're different. Next question is, sa ang reviewers, review center po kayo nag-review? Kind regards from Manet Jimenez. So, hi Manet. Um, I reviewed, I enrolled at Excel Review Center and they're actually really really good uh, all the teachers are very kind you'll feel that they really want you to pass the board exam ganun sila ka uh, motivated na i-inspire ka to pass the board exam they encourage you to aim for the top yun lagi yung sinasabi sa amin and also they're really really good um tutors, teachers, instructors, they are really good. They know what they are doing and they know what you need for the board exam. So, thank you Excel Review Center. From JD Mamangon, he actually has the best sets of questions in the comment section and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to answer this question. So, his first question is, what are your main references in each subject? Like, ano yung books na pinilit mong aralin, cover to cover, sa math, JS, LX, and ESAT? Well, for the math subject, I mainly relied on the activities given by Excel Review Center because they're very well organized in doing so and magaganda yung mga exercises na nandun sa reviewers nila. So, yun. And then for JS also, I also relied on 
the activities on their exercises. Kasi math and Reyes, you really need to focus on solving. So, I wanted to be on track on the lessons. Kaya, I relied mainly on their um, materials. And then for Alex, I actually finished a cover-to-cover -cover book of John Bird. I forgot the title, but this is the book right here. And then for Isat, I also finished a book cover to cover plus the exercises on that book by Frenzel. I forgot again the title, but this is the book. There. So next question. I know you naging study routine mo. At land class sa Excel, then when you get back home, i-resolve mo ulit sila. Um, ano ba? Yes, I think that's what I did. I would attend class or even before because usually the classes were during the afternoon. So, I would wake up at like 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. to review, then take some nap during lunchtime after I eat and then attend classes during the afternoon tapos pagbalik sa bahay yung mga hindi ko naiintindihan lang yung pinabalikan ko and then the others I discuss with friends after class or when we get to have time for ourselves parang ganun so yeah yung mga hindi ko lang naiintindihan masyado yung mga nire-resolve ko and for the things na I think tumatak na sa akin hindi ko na binabalikan ng paulit-ulit okay. so next is how did you take down notes? formulas lang ba? or bawat chapter ng book na binabasa mo is nag-note take ka din um for John Bird, I think I outlined the book itself, and that took time. For Frenzel, hindi ko na masyadong in outline, because you have the exercises in the book. So Frenzel, also in John Bird, but for Frenzel one, masyadong wordy. So uh, what I did was just to absorb everything that I read try to you know understand all the principles all the theories that were there and then answer the exercises without actually looking at the book kasi may sagot sa book eh. so i would just check after i answered everything so ganun. and then during class i took down notes for the things that the professors will say, ito, ino ito. But other than that, I was mainly focused on um, seeing what they wrote down at the board or what they um, demonstrated during calculations. Next question is from Zaire San Jose. Hello, saan po kayo nag-aral nung college. So, I studied in St. Louis University School of Engineering and Architecture for five years. I, um, next question is from Pasta Chat. Sabi niya, undecided pa rin ako BSA or ECE pag pipilian ko. Um, for this kind of question, uh, I wouldn't tell you to take up ECE just because I am an ECE. You know, I believe na nasa sayo yan. Um, I think mainly what would, what should um, influence your decision is if you see yourself being an engineer years from now or being an accountant fewer years from now. So, if you imagine a future with being an accountant or with being an engineer, uh, then go take up the course that you imagine yourself uh, applying to your life later on. So, 
kung sa tingin mo may future ka to be an engineer more than being an accountant, then you should take up engineering. But if it's the otherwise, then take up accountancy. So, nasa sa'yo yan. And I'm not gonna say things na, ah, mas maganda mo ni engineer kaysa accountant because lahat naman ng profession may sariling kagandahan, importance. So, yeah, it's all up to you and good luck. Next is ito, from A. Kat Ali Ram. Basta yun. Ang comment niya is, Easy grad din ako. Kawawa mga ka-ECE. Nag-apply ako bilang telecom installer. 12k a month lang bigayan. Malaki pa kita yung naghihilot eh. Um, you know, I've actually already read this comment before. And uh, my initial reaction is ang downer naman nung comment na yun. But you know, parang kahit ano namang course yung itake mo, may masasabi, masasabi pa rin yung iba na negative things. And I know that's how the world works, but assuming that our commenter is actually a licensed engineer, ayan, himayin lang natin yung comment niya. Yeah, so, she said, or he said na nag-apply siya bilang telecom in scholar. And, you know, <laughs> parang, parang unfair lang to say or to generalize na mababa ang sada ng ECE just because of his or her experience. So, you applied as a telecom installer. Assuming that you are a licensed engineer, um, you still applied for a telecom installer position, not an engineering position. So, why apply for a telecom installer position and then expect a salary for an engineer, right? So, all jobs, kahit janitresen, janitorian, or ikaw yung boss, lahat yan may responsibility, you have different functions. So, all of which also has different pay, di ba? If you are the director, then iba yung pay mo. If you are an installer, iba yung pay mo din from being an engineer. Okay. Next question is from Mitsuha Marie. Hi! Marami po ba na babaeng nagtitake ng ECA course? And someone actually answered. Sabi niya, sakko lang. So, um, I do agree with him. Sakto lang naman. I think in a class of 50, you'd find 10 to 15 girls. So, hindi naman kadamihan, pero not naman very kaunti. So, next question is from NV Isama. Ano pong work niya po? So, right now, I'm currently working as a test product engineer in a semiconductor manufacturing site here in Baguio City. So, it's my first job, actually. Okay, next question is from Rain Ramos. So, hello, ma'am. Come checklist subject ng four topics. Can I have it? Thank you. Um, I actually replied to this comment. Kung gusto nyo rin yung checklist, I actually found one on the internet and it's really complete. It's very um, good to have your guide. So, I'm posting it on my description box. Pwede pa rin po ba ako mag-ECE kahit na hindi po sa strand ko this SHS? You know, I myself weren't actually part of the K-12 program. So, um, kami yung, I think, second to the last na take up ng regular program. So, yung four years of high school right after elementary. But, I, what I've heard is that 
some school will not accept you if you're not part of the STEM program back in high school. But some will actually accept you for engineering school kahit hindi ka STEM. So I think it depends sa school na pupuntahan mo. That's a fact. Uh, that's what I heard. So next is ilang years po ang ECE. So depende yun sa yun. Hindi joke lang. Uh, normally, the regular curriculum is five years. So five years from what? From the school na inattendan ko, which is SLU. I but I think four other school. Hmm, pwede mag -vary. If naka-graduate ka po ng BS ECT at gusto mo mag-proceed ng ECE, ilang years po ba mag-aral ulit? And I'm not actually familiar with this kinds of question, but someone answered. Sabi ni Injir Lava Lava, sabi niya 3 years for ladderized program. And then, sabi naman ni JDR, accurate. Accurate talaga. Depende po sa curriculum ng school. Kung tugma yung units na nagtapos mo, sa sinusunod nila, ngayon po, ang full ECE is 4 years na. Next question, let me find this, you know, a little... Kakaiba. Uh, hindi po ba sa, bag, sa gabal pagpawisin ka ng kamay? Um, I think hindi. Ah, <laughs> uh, hindi. Kung may pangarap ka, walang, walang pawisin na kamay ang makakahal lang sa'yo. So, yan. Hi, Monica. Pwede man ligaw. Next question from Dante Malilin Jr. Top nature ka po. Uh, no, I'm not a top nature. I'm not claiming to be one. I am a passer. But once upon a time, before the exam, I actually aimed to be a top nature. And at the end of the day, if you aim for the top nature position, there's a high chance that you get to pass the board exam and just be a passer. So, diba, win-win ka pa rin sa situation na yun. Kaya I always, always encourage my mga addings from my school na aim for the top, diba? Uh, there's nothing wrong with being ambitious at the end of the day. Kung hindi ka man nakatop, then nakapasa ka pa rin, may lisensya ka pa rin you'll still be called an engineer, diba? Next is Ate, pa-accept sa friend request. And then, for the last question, laging tinatanong of a YouTube man, Instagram, Facebook, pahingi po ng reviewers. So, I've now compiled all the reviewers that I have, all of which are down below. So, I provided a Google Drive link wherein you can access the reviewers for free. Siyempre, kasi hard ko kayo. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. Who knows, I might do part 3 on the licensure exam. And also, to all the people who are taking up this year's board exam, kung hindi makancel, I hope kung na makancel, um, best of luck and God bless you all. I hope you become engineers this year. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe to my channel if you want. Uh, feel free to share this video and comment kung ano mong gusto nyong i-comment. Huwag lang pang babash. Bye-bye! <laughs>